Welcome back, guys. Final three days of the Pro League. Final three days of the cast-off. Last night, we saw Mr. X and his duo of Jay and Fox go at it. A little bit of coaching as the night goes on for Mr. X. Tonight, it's my guys. I got Air Landon as well as Saint. Uh, Air Landon, one of the best play-by-play -play casters that we've heard from. Saint, one of the smartest analytical casters. That's why I picked this duo, and they've been crushing it in that last search and destroy. Boys, continue strong as we head to Biolab S&D. Definitely going to kick it off here in game number three. Obviously, TCM uh, that really uh, played very well in that last search and destroy. As I believe we're going to try to get every single person in here. I believe, yeah, we're going to want to restart that one. Uh, definitely looking to see some strong plays out of TCM in this next game. Uh, obviously, they did end up losing that search and destroy there to Justice. Now, obviously, Biolab uplink, not you know a very favored uplink. I know a lot of people kind of complain about this one. What are you looking to see out of the team that's able to come out of this win? Um, you know, what strategy are you looking to see out of this game, Saint? I mean, I'm looking forward to blue control. Blue control pretty much runs this map. You get eyes on ball when you hold blue, and when you're on the uh, side when you spawn out snow, getting control of blue is just going to allow you to re relay cap after cap in the enemy's base as they're going to have to rotate back through green, and you're just going to pick up easy kills on the rotators. Yeah, definitely going to be an interesting one here. I think we're just about good to go, I believe. Yeah, they're playing with us. Uh, the game drawed out that first time around. Wait for Someone was probably in the bathroom or something. To restart here shortly. Predictions, boys. After watching both teams play, hard point pretty one-sided in favor of TCM. Same can be said the opposite direction in favor of Justice there on Search and Destroy. Uh, TCM being on host right now, I definitely think they'll take this game. All being in a team house, all being next to each other is definitely going to give them a boost in this game mode. And they've just been looking like they're winning the gunfights right now. TCM, what about you, Anna? You agreeing with that? Yeah, I think honestly, the way they took the first respawn pretty handily, I gotta be in favor of uh, of the TCM boys. And obviously, like you said, on their host, you know, host kind of plays a, a pretty big role, especially online play. Gotta go with, uh, with TCM in this one. I was looking through some of the other games. It looks like Optic Gaming also going to an up an uplink i believe that is against uh, optic nation right now they should be on game three there uh denial that's game four excuse me optic nation able to take one from optic gaming so far denial they just finished their game two or are finishing it right now denial of course losing that first series but we're into game four over here boys tcm justice landon take it away version two <laughs> all right finally we're gonna be in this game we got all players loading in as we're going to head to this game number three. Currently tied at one apiece for both of these squads. Definitely going to see some pretty strong plays off the bat by left. Kind of a pretty interesting map. Not really to me like any other as uh, I'm going to be currently on board with Octane. So he's going to be kind of just waiting here trying to pick up a couple kills. And I'm watching TCM right now. He's currently holding purple for Justice. But as I say that, Shane is going to pick up the kill on him. Getting full control for TCM right now as they should be able to get this dunk here. Yeah, Mad Cat gonna put that one in. Nice dunk off the bat. The first 27 seconds of that game. Definitely TCM coming out on all cylinders. As Shane, once again, gonna be there off the re of that ball. Or excuse me, that drone. As he's gonna try to play that one out. Gonna get taken out there. But honestly, that was such a really strong push there from TCM. Didn't expect that one uh, off the bat, as I believe Justice didn't really either. And that was all Jared off the start, getting four kills pretty much instantaneously. Getting full, full control for TCM there, allowing them to get that quick dunk. Yep, gonna be currently on Boba Shane. Wins a big gunfight there in his base. As that, that drone gonna be waiting there just for anyone to pick it up. I believe I'm gonna be on board currently with Mad Cat. So he's gonna come around behind one of these players. And uh, currently with uh, two to zero, three minutes and 50 seconds left in this game. Definitely a lot of opportunities to get a score in. As uh, looks like Mad Cat doing some work outside the base. And he's gonna try to grab that drone as they're gonna try to make a rush here for another score. Great three-piece there by Mad Cat, getting drone control as well as blue, allowing TCM to push up the map here and get the drone inside of Justice's base. Yeah, Moose going to be there kind of for the pass as Mad Cat kind of threw that one to him. Moose able to put in that dunk there. 4-0 to zero lead currently is what TCM is up by. Is TCM what, what you would consider on the better side of this, or do you think Justice uh, currently has the better side? Uh, I actually prefer the side Justice is playing on because when you're on that side, if you just get control of blue and the drone, you should easily be able to work it through there and get dunk after dunk as the other team is going to be rotating back from green plat. Yeah, and once again, Shane can pick up that drone, just going to throw that one most likely to, to get some, or excuse me, to get some armor back as they're going to try to put in yet again another score. 
as uh, players rushing in. Player gonna be off to his right, gonna be able to escape that one. As if you see the minimap right now, all two players left up are trying to rush in there, trying to make this score happen. Shane gonna be there, gonna get stunned. Can he put this dunk in? Able to dunk on these pillars? No, gonna get shut down there. And that's gonna be Justice picking up some really, really good kills there in enemy base. A greedy play by Shane there. He definitely could have got the one pointer, but I mean, he was getting a little greedy, went for the dunk, and that could just cost uh, TCM a cap. Yeah, and Justice is pushing up for the two pointer. Yeah, Jerd trying to get away, just as able to do so as he's going to be on top three, trying to get away, going to try to dodge this player, Strat coming in, just going to miss that one. That ball's going to be a reset as uh, kind of just unfortunate plays. I mean, even though TCM missed that one pointer, they're still in good position right now. They have control of the drone spawn. And as I say that, they do get three down and are pulling the drone up off spawn. What I've really noticed in this game so far is how aggressive TCM have been. Obviously, Jerd currently with that drone, just as I say that. Player can get, just stomp him right there in the face. That's going to be TCM on Justice. Uh, obviously, like we said, kind of confusing there with the names. Going to be with that drone. TCM tries to go for the shot. Almost like going to turn around. Gets a big kill there on Shane as that drone's going to go in there to the dunk of, I believe, who was study. Yeah, Merc is having a really slow game right now. If TCM, or I mean Justice, I mean, if they want any chance to win this, Merc is going to have to step it up and start getting these kills for Just. Yeah, Merc currently sitting at 4 and 11, kind of the leader of the squad, the veteran. Going to see what he can do, Joey D, as he's going to be trying to make his way toward this drone, as a couple players can be around him. And he might try to go for this couple kills off the break and then try to go for the drone grab. That's exactly what he's going to do. Going to be rushing top green, as he's going to try to make this drone, uh, this drone score happen. And really good aggressive play out of Jerd right now. You constantly see him pushing up in the purple, getting control for J or, uh, TCM. He's pretty much the player to watch right now. Yeah, big gun fights going down. Merc gonna get shut down there to the likes of Mad Cat. Mad Cat obviously a very great slayer in this game. Moose on your screen, gonna pick up a great kill there as Octane currently with that drone for a squad. Gonna be definitely a big play here. Couple players around him, gonna just dunk it over that player nearly. And she's gonna make it level at four piece. 50 seconds left in this first side here of Biolab Uplink. Yeah, really good job by Justice bringing this game back. TCM got two quick dunks right off the start. Justice have been fighting their way back, just clawing kill after kill, tying this game up at four piece. Yeah, drone gonna be currently in the hands of Octane. He's gonna get shut down there just as we say that. 30 seconds left of this current side. Definitely gonna be some big plays coming in this next one. But before we get to that next one, we're gonna see Shane currently rushing through purple, gonna get taken out there to the likes of Merc and TCM. 20 seconds left. Could we see a big square here from TCM? Big plays there by Merc getting the two-piece, but t uh, Justice are going to miss that throw. They still have the ball, though, are in good position for Dung, and Study is going to get stopped right at the goal line. TCM can run this, but it looks like they're just going to throw it out at this point. Yeah, Mad Cat going to run that one in. Most likely not going to get the score unless he can get the shot off. I don't believe it's going to go happening. in. Not going to happen. Four to four as we're going to be level heading into this next side. I know you said Justice was technically on the better side. Do you think TCM is going to take a massive lead in this next in this next five minutes? Uh, yeah, I believe so. TCM shots are looking really good right now. They're winning the majority of the gunfights, so as long as they get control of the blue building, they should definitely win this side. Yeah, heading into this next five minutes, like we said, four apiece. Currently tied up at one to one. Definitely going to be a very big five minutes for either side who decides to go ahead and take this one to clutch up. Obviously, like we said, Justice needing to win a couple games to solidify their spot. Next game's kind of down in the red. Going to see what they can do as uh, looks like TCM and the boys could be kind of taking a, a pretty aggressive push here off the break. Hopping on board with Mad Cat here. He's going to try and get control of top blue, but you are going to see a Justice player on top of the green rail get some shots on Mad Cat, allowing TCM to clean up the kill flank their bio lab. Oh my God, great play by <laughs> Shane there. Yeah. I don't know what he just did. He just stomped on TCM's head. Yeah, Shane making him pay for it. Going to be around that drone as he's just kind of just playing around. Finds a player off to his left. That's going to be Octane. As he's going to get taken out from behind. Drone just waiting there for anyone who's able to pick that one up. Stun's coming in there from the boys over on TCM. I believe that's actually going to be Jared, who's kind of just waiting there for that drone. And they might try to make here uh, make room here for a score. Even though Shane did die there, he did a great job picking up those two kills, allowing his team to push up back and get control of the drone. A big shot coming in from Jared. Can he connect with it? Gonna put that one in. So that's a big point there for TCM. Is they're gonna be up by about one point. Obviously, four minutes left in this game. Definitely gonna be a big factor to see what Justice can do. As uh, this can be a very big game for them. Currently sitting at TCM 18 and 15. And she's gonna get shut down there through through uh, Jared, who is in purple. Yeah, TCM doing a really good job right now, forcing Justice back into their base. It's up to this one player on Justice over in purple to kill the drone right now, and that is gonna be Merc. He will get that kill as well. It's up to Merc to pretty much stop this play right now. Currently on board with Jert. So he's gonna be trying to just waiting around here, 
by this drone. TCM gonna be in a big gunfight. Can he win this one? Jared able to pick up that one thanks to his teammates' help. Two players down. This is gonna be a very big push here. Coming out of TCM. Shot gonna come in. Can he connect with it? Just gonna miss that. That's gonna be study there for the drone. However, he's gonna get taken out. Big gunfight coming in. TCM gets a huge kill. Can he find the second? Gonna get taken out. Big trades coming in here as the score almost able to happen. And it looks like it is. Amazing stops right there from Justice. And they are going to be in a really good position now to get at least a one-pointer as they're going to push up through the red turbine and try to get control of top eskies. Yeah, Merc making a nice jumps and spots there. Going to put that one in. So that was a great shot coming in from Merc. Looking kind of like Steph Curry there as he's able to make it uh, five to five as uh, we head into this next two minutes and 50, 40 seconds. And this one's going to be coming down to the wire, I feel like. Even though Justice did get that point, pretty much all of them are out of place right now. TCM has really good map control. And they're just slaying Justice out right now. They should be able to get a point on the board here. Mad Cat doing pretty well in the kill column. 24 and 16. Jerd, however, with that drone, I like the OBJ work he's been doing this game. Got to find a put off to the right. However, he's going to try to back that one down. And he's look, looking like he's trying to make a pretty uh, a soft push here. Going to see one player in front of him. Can he get for the shot? Going to just miss that one. That drone's going to go and reset as uh, we're going to see a pretty even game so far. A All little right, off. Brian, TCM do still have control of blue. Slaying out Justice right now. I look forward to them to push up into Justice's base and potentially get a dunk here. Currently going to be on board with TCM, sitting at 20 and 20. This is definitely going to see some big pushes here in the last two minutes of this game. No players currently on that drone, but just to say that Shane's going to grab that one as they're looking to make a push. This could be one of the defining moments of this game. Merc waiting there, trying to get some shots on him. As Shane just trying to play this one pretty smart. Yeah, TCM playing this dunk right now. Shane's going to pass off the Mecca and he will be able to get that alley -oop. That was a beautiful play there from Shane. Got the movement, pass it over to his buddy, Mad Cat, able to put that dunk in. Seven to five, TCM leads. This is definitely gonna be a very defining moment for Justice if they wanna come back in this game. Obviously, TCM dominated the first respawn, and they're currently up by two in the second one. Excellent job by TCM on the side, controlling the drone. The only time Justice were able to get a point is when uh, TCM choked a little bit, capping it in their base allowing Justice to uh, get that counter cap. But aside from that, Justice or uh, TCM have been playing this side phenomenally. Yeah, I definitely agree with that one. TCM, the player currently on your screen with the drone. He's gonna throw that one to his teammate. That's gonna be Study currently on top purple. We're gonna see if they can make this last couple pushes here. With one minute left, this is gonna be a very, very big gunfights going down. As Study kind of just waiting for his teammates to grab kills as he's looking to make here on the push. It's gonna be the first time we actually see Justice push out the drone from purple. They're doing a good job right now picking up these kills, but as I say that, uh, you're just gonna see a player drop at one after another, but they might get this throw right here. Oh, oh, they did hit it. Yeah, Study got the nice shot, and they're able to be make themselves only down by 1.35 seconds left. This is gonna come down to the wire. Justice needs to do something big here, as none of their players are really near that drone, but just as I say that, Octane needs to win these gunfights if he wants to get this drone out and able to make it level. Yeah, TCM pretty much just have to play the ball right now, but jo Octane is going to get it out and rotate it back to the green side. Justice do have control of TCM's base, so they are in really good position to tie this game right now. Yeah, Octane, this is going to be a huge play. 12 seconds left. Player going to be in front of him. Going to run past him. Player going to be off to the side of him. That's oh, the interception! Madcat gets a huge stop along with the play of the ball, and that's going to be the game. Excellent play right there for Madcat, single-handedly winning TCM that game with the interception. Whoa! That was a phenomenal stop there. Yo, Mad Cat is a monster. That interception saved us from overtime and it gave TCM the 2 1 lead here. Fellas, really solid cast once again. I got a lot of praise on Twitter for you guys. Um, and I do have a little bit of feedback that I am going to agree with from Vitality Josh. He's watching from the UK. Lots of guys from the UK tuning in as this is the only stream for TCM right now. But one thing they said was casters sound great, the points are really good but it feels like rapid fire casting and I kind of prefer longer length. So Saint, I, I know you're still chiming in with the, with the quality points, but it's still five, 10 seconds maximum and then you throw it back to Landon. This mm -hmm. next game, since it's potentially the final game, I want you to go at least 15 seconds anytime you take the mic, even if that requires you just transitioning into play by play because you did a really good job when you, when you made a point about Octane and then Octane started rotating it over. So I want to just see more of that in the final game. Landon, I thought you were really solid that time, my friend. How you feeling? I feel okay. I, I know I got a little bit spotty at times, just trying to like call certain plays, but that was a really phenomenal game. It was kind of hard at times to keep up with the amount of kills uh, that were going down. I think that we're really just connecting a lot better. I think we're, we're overall just getting better at casting, and 
I'm definitely feeling my role a little bit better. Yeah, it was pretty smooth. You had one mistake where you thought they had scored, but Saint came yeah. right in, saved you, said, you know, it was good defense there, and I instantly forgave you. I think the chat did as well. So don't, uh, don't get caught up on the small mistakes there. Just keep powering through, and whenever you need to, just slow it down. Take a break from the instant chaos. Don't jump to the player who's going to get right into the mix and die. Uh, go with the guy who's maybe right behind that guy who's going to die. So you at least have someone who's going to live a little bit longer for you. But as I said, I'm impressed. The chat seems to like the cast so far. Uh, Sawyer here says they cast very well. Landon is a crusher from Fantastic Four. The love is real, my friends. Keep it up. Commercial break. Game number four, CTF, TCM trying to close out Justice and go perfect 2-0 on the night. We'll find out if they can do it after this. Hey.